Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hi everyone, today I am going to show you another GCS.com project which is a Google Web App based stock requisition system integrated with the Google Sheets. Before diving into this video, important thing to know is that this system may not be useful for every company. But this video will help you to understand the power of Google Web Apps and Google Sheets using which small businesses can automate their business processes on which many big companies spend thousands of dollars. You can see our channel videos to see how you can use Google free products to automate different business processes. Or you can share your current business processes with us and depending on our availability, we will tell you how we can automate your business processes. So without any further delay, let's discuss this stock requisition system. This system is made for a client who have multiple shops, whose every individual shop staff used to manually fill the stock requisition form and then they used to send it to some manager who used to compile all this information. I hope you can imagine how such an easy task would have been hectic for the staff because of this manual process. Therefore, in order to tackle this issue and to automate this process, we have come up with this web app. We could have used Google Form for this, but in this video, I will show you how this Google web app is much better than the Google Forms. Starting from Google Sheets, we try to keep everything simple. Therefore, we try to manage all workings in, in two tabs. First tab is of form responses, in which all responses from the Google web app will be stored. So it's acting somewhat like a database. Second tab is of settings sheet, which will be used to manage the settings of the system. So in order to understand this settings sheet, let's move to the web app. When a user will open the web app, he will have to type the shop name and password which will be created and managed by the system admin. System admin can create and manage the user and their password from Google Sheets in settings sheet tab. Under shops database table, he can simply add, remove or edit users and their passwords. Now this feature is not available in the Google Forms. There are three benefits of this feature. One, no one except the people having credentials can use this system. Secondly, once entry will be made, system admin will be aware about the person who have made the entry, unlike the Google form where you don't know about that. Thirdly, user can't make entry of other shops. In Google form, this issue can be managed by making multiple forms for individual shops, but that's a hectic process and may not be feasible for a long term and for business with a large number of shops. In this web app, no duplicate have to be made, rather admin just have to add a shop user in the database. Ok, now I will log in to the system by typing shop id and password. If user want to keep system remember him so that he remain logged in into the system, then he can tick this checkbox. Now let me log in. Now this page has two sections, one message board and another is of restock entry board. In message board, admin can type any message to convey to all shop staff. And the cool thing about it is that he can easily manage that from Google Sheets. He have to move to the settings sheet of Google Sheet and on the top green message table, he can write any message and it will be updated in web app. And the last blue table in this tab is product database, where admin will add remove or update the products available on every shop. Along with that, he have to provide reorder level of individual products and their opening stock on each shop. Here are the products of the first shop and here are the products of second shop and these are the products of shop 3. In same way, more shops and products can be added in the database. Once that's done, then in the web app, Every shop staff will only see the products which are added in the sheet against their shop. Now coming back to the web app restock entry board. This form have to be filled by all shop staff at the end of each day. They have to provide closing stock of the products available on the shop at the end of the day. Once they type in closing stock, system will automatically show the reorder quantity against it based on the reorder level added in the settings sheet. This feature is not available in the Google Forms. For example, court small closing stock is 25. Then shop staff will type 25 in the relevant field. 
then reorder quantity decreases to 75 because its reorder level was 100. In this way, stock will fill closing stock of all products and reorder quantity will be changed accordingly. By default, users can't change the reorder quantity. However, it's possible that the system admin don't set reorder level of some products and wants the shop staff to let admin know the reorder quantity based on the demand of that shop. Or shop staff may on some special days or occasions want more quantity than the usual days. Then they can simply click on this lock icon. Once it's clicked, this field will get unlocked and user will be able to edit it and he can type any quantity. From an internal control and audit point of view, that's a bit risky, but we have added another control on it. Once user will make any change, system will track it and admin can check from the system that which shop have ordered quantity different from the reordered quantity. This can't be done in Google Forms. Once everything is completed, user can then submit the form by pressing submit button. Data have been posted in the Google Sheets. One more feature which is added in this Google Web App is that every shop staff can only make entry once a day. So if a user will try to make an entry again, then the system will not allow him. And at last, in order to visualize data report, we have used Google Data Studio. Now let's move to Google Data Studio and see the report of submitted data. Let me refresh the report. As can be seen, report have been updated with the data showing opening stock, stock in, stock out, closing stock, and reorder quantity. And this whole table is created based on the entry of just closing stock. Therefore, you can imagine the time saving and benefit of this automation. Lastly, email will be scheduled for this report and daily at a fixed time system admin will get the report on his email in this format. So he can view this report from attached PDF or he can simply click here and interactive report will be opened. I hope you must have enjoyed watching this video. In case if you want to purchase this system or have any other query regarding this system then feel free to get in touch with us on our Facebook page or you can email us on info at gshares.com. Thank you.